Yo, hello, hello, welcome to the elephant in the room. My name is Aaron and this video will be about different forms of trade, part one. This is where we ended the video last time. Let's see what the Trump superhero is gonna show us now. He explains the force, the game of trade. What he is saying is that today's society is almost entirely based on trade. Meaning, people wake up in the morning, they go to work, they trade their energy, time, skills and so on in return for money to buy whatever they want and need. And he is saying the crazy maze you see in the world. Companies, governments, businesses, jobs, ownership, social statuses, prices, they all revolve around this trade notion. Everyone is in a constant trade with others, an imbalance that will destroy the entire human species if left alone. So now that we are aware of the trade with money, there is also trade with other currencies and you have probably heard about this new thing, the cryptocurrencies. Um, the guy in the bar is saying, the money is the problem man, the Federal Reserve Bank creates money out of thin air, that's theft. And he's proposing cryptocurrencies are the future. No one owns them, they are decentralized and correct. That's a true currency and they have a limit as to how many can be created. So we can't just invent currencies and consume infinitely on a finite planet. But then the Trump superhero is like that's bullshit. Replacing currencies to make the world better is like changing heads to become smarter. So what he is saying is it's the same game that we play and changing from one currency to another won't solve anything. It's like replacing McDonald's with Burger King and therefore we must address the big, pink, fat and sweaty elephant in the room, the distinction between money and trade, or better said, the distinction between currency and trade. Because yeah, he explains there are the same problems around these cryptocurrencies like around any other currency as well, there are frauds, there are scams, there is inequality. He is also explaining that in the Ethereum community um, they went through a lot of fights, arguments, splits and anger and they are accused of fraud, censorship and more. And um, yeah, As you can see here the sources are always um, underlined so you can just click on any of them and they will open in a new tab. So basically everything the Trump superhero says is backed up by reliable sources. And now he explains the blockchain, because the blockchain is the foundation of these cryptocurrencies. So basically you have a bank account and if you send money to another bank account then it's going through the bank of course, it's, that's the middleman kind. Of. And with blockchain this process is decentralized, meaning it goes through uh, multiple servers. But he is explaining the blockchain is all about the ledger. The ledger uh, records transactions and each of those transactions must be signed and they also have a unique ID. And now the thing what's happening is just that these uh, multiple transactions are merged together in a block. The block has a unique ID and uh, the block is connected with other blocks. And that's where the name blockchain is coming from. So basically it's just about um, tracking these transactions and nothing more than that. And you have probably heard about Bitcoin miners and um, Bitcoin farms or server farms. And it's just that um, when a transaction happens, it is shared with everyone in the network and the computer that can verify the validity of the transaction faster, as the beefiest computer, is rewarded by the system. That's why um, these server farms are created, because it needs a lot of computational power to do that. It's, you, you, can, you cannot do it just with your simple computer at home. And over 81% of these mining pools are in China. And now he puts that in a really interesting perspective, 
because he's saying mining Bitcoin, the largest cryptocurrency to date, is sucking in more energy than these 159 tribes combined. And imagine that, like, Bitcoin is using more energy than all of those tribes combined. And he's saying, imagine the stupidity of our species consuming all of their energy for a worthless currency. It really is a ridiculous thing that we use so many, that we waste so much energy for doing that. So the point he wants us to understand is that money is just one of the many currencies out there and it seems to get out of fashion and pushed aside by these other new digital currencies that are sparking into existence more and more. And the second thing he wants us to understand is that you can also trade without currencies. The first example of how you can trade without any currency is influencer marketing. The girl is browsing through her Instagram feed and she's saying, oh, this dress is so gorgeous. I love Kira's Instagram. And the other one is saying, yes, see, she is such a beautiful Instagram model. I would love to look like her. But now the Trump superhero comes in and he says, girls, this is just an example of how in our world we trade without the need of any currency. And man, you are so easy to fool. I am sad to see that. And I've been on Instagram as well. I know that very well that famous people and stars um, make ads for some shoes or some other products. And it's like, if you see a picture like that, is Kendall Jenner really just making a photo of her shoes or is she making an ad for Adidas? Another example that I am aware of are those Instagrammers and influencers who get to sleep in a hotel for free, but then in return they make uh, pictures and videos about that hotel to promote it. So it's a big promotion. And another example are um, tech YouTubers who make reviews about products. And a lot of those tech reviewers get products from big companies for free, but in return they make a good review of their product. And that's just another promotion and of course another form of the marketing scheme. There are many other such things, it has just become a normal thing. Like for example, that woman is saying take some Evan products for yourself and then sell our products to others. You go girl. And then the girl is like, Avon products are the best, Karen, I use them on a daily basis. Also 20% off for you on any product. It has just become a normal thing, so there are so many examples. Um, so the Trump superhero is saying, you see the influencer marketing scheme, one of the many schemes that engages in direct trades, no currency needed. It's like a big ad. Add that to mind. The Trump superhero is also poetic sometimes. So that was it for this video. I'm gonna make a second part about other forms of trade. Let's see um, what we will discover and I hope you found that video interesting. Um, see you then in the next video. Take care and much love.